Hellos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I'm going to show you a very very own recipe, Hunter's Chicken Stew. This pollo a la cazadora dish, it's incredibly uncomplicated and it's made with really basic ingredients as well as you can imagine, it is the type of a stew that hunters would cook over the open fire when they went into their long walks and just brought a few things from home to give it a bit of flavor, some basic vegetables, and then just add to it the main ingredient that was generally a partridge, a duck, or a chicken in this case, because I think most of us would probably be more of watching YouTube than going out hunting, <laughs> to be completely truthful with you. And then just grab a few herbs and some mushrooms along the way and add it to the stew. So it is incredibly old, as I said, and complicated, but full of flavor and with a very warm and comforting um, soul, which, uh, you know, I can see myself having a little walk, picking mushrooms in my case, as opposed to hunting, you know, having this stew, and that's kind of uh, my, my image of happiness, to be honest. I'm a very happy bunny when I'm in the, in the countryside and in the forest. So without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need mushrooms, garlic, fresh herbs like bay leaf, rosemary and thyme, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, a whole chicken, a glass of red wine, a lick, carrots, shallots and a tomato. We're going to start by butchering our chicken, which is something really simple and we don't do enough of. We are all now used to buying our meat in pieces from the supermarket. But first you need to cut in between the leg and the breast, which is clearly shows a joint over there, and just cut around it. You can guide yourself very easily with the knife. One of the beauties of using a whole chicken is that you can make use of the carcass, which is what I am cutting through now with the knife. We're going to be making a beautiful chicken stock, quite quick and brief. That, that I've just removed is the wishbone, as they call it. And now we're going to cut the crown of the chicken uh, in half. I'm going to cook it on the bone for the recipe. So for the stock, I only need a little bit of carcass. And just cut the breast in half. And now applying a little bit of pressure through the knife, cut through the joint of the wing and the breast and do exactly the same with the other breast. Just cut it in half and divide the wing from the rest of the breast. And now the chicken leg just cut in between the drumstick and the thigh. It's all rather easy. Let's start with the cooking. So I am using a clay pot in this instance, which I'm going to place over the highest heat with some extra virgin olive oil and the chicken skin side down so that it starts browning. And while it happens, I'm going to start preparing my chicken stock. So for that, I'm going to peel the carrots and use all the peelings of the carrots, the shallots, you know, the green part of the leeks, as well as the carcass of chicken uh, to, to make it. So place all those ingredients inside the pot and make sure that there is no sand inside your leek, which is uh, very useful, very common. If, if you find some just uh, sort of divide it into pieces and, and give it a good rinse on the cold water. And now put some fresh herbs like the bay leaf, thyme and some rosemary, fill it up with water. We're going to simmer it until we need it. And that will form a light chicken stock that will be the base of our delicious sauce. After 10 minutes uh, with our chicken, Probably our uh, skin is quite brown. We should turn it around and cook it for another five on the other side. We want to caramelize the ingredients really well, starting with the chicken. And now add your carrot, leeks, shallots, and the mushrooms, and divide your cloves of garlic, uh, but leave the skin on while the ingredients brown. Add them into the pan. And we're going to add back into the pan our brown pieces of chicken. 
begin to add the fresh leaves like the bay leaves the rosemary and the thyme and we're going to grate our tomato in this case i'm blitzing it as i couldn't find the grater but you can just chop it with your knife as well and we're going to add it into the pan to help deglaze the burnt bits and the sticky bits that have formed in the bottom of the pan after a minute or two probably the tomato has formed a rich paste and at that point we're going to pour the red wine which we want to reduce down again for three four minutes before we add our chicken stock that as you can see it's quite light very subtle in taste but it'll be delicious a lot better than using a chicken stock cube and that's going to form the base of our sauce so now we just need to let it simmer with a cartouche on top or a lid for about an hour. That is enough for our chicken to cook, tenderize, and would have allowed enough time to form a really rich sauce. That is quite liquidish, as you will see in a minute, but it has a lot of darkness and it's quite decadent because all those burn bits that I was telling you before that has the glaze with the tomato, has now diluted into a sauce and giving it a lot of depth of flavor. And now to finish it off, serve a couple of pieces of the chicken with some of the vegetables, a drizzle of the sauce. And if you feel that you need a garnish, I'll recommend to serve it with some simple roasted potatoes, with, which always goes really well with chicken. Familia, I hope you enjoy the recipe, as rustic as it gets, but as comforting as it gets as well. Remember, for the written recipe, you can go online to our website, SpanishChef.com. Please subscribe to the channel, and if you really want to make me very happy, uh, please buy any of my two books online at thebookdepository.com, and they have free shipping worldwide, no matter where you live in the world you get my books all the best and see you soon adios if you enjoy the video please like it share it and subscribe